Welcome to Pure Aqua's Learning Center. In this series of videos, we will demonstrate the loading of filtration media inside different size FRP tanks. In this particular video, we'll demonstrate the loading of carbon media inside of a 12-inch FRP tank. Activated carbon media is typically used for the removal of organic and inorganic compounds. It's effective at removing things like chlorine, taste, and odor. Smaller size commercial RO systems typically have carbon media as pretreatment as it's a very cost-effective way of removing these kind of compounds. Some of the items shown here are the tools and media recommended for successful media uh, loading. So starting from this side here, we have an empty bucket where you know, the media in the back can be transferred to this bucket and then dumped into the tanks. We have our funnel, scissors, masking tape, plastic pipe caps, and of course different types of media. You know, in this case, we're showing carbon and calcite, and of course the gravel underbedding. Since this particular video will cover the loading of a 12-inch carbon filter, Pure Aqua recommends loading just enough gravel to cover the riser screen at the bottom of the tank. So we estimate roughly about one sixth a cubic foot will be needed to cover um, the riser pipe here on the bottom or riser screen. And we use uh, on smaller tanks, we would use fine gravel, which is about eighth inch by a quarter inch in diameter and two bags of carbon media. So this particular demonstration involves a 12 inch media tank. Um, now, there are many different sizes of tanks with many different types of media, of course, so it's up to you know, design calculations and criteria to determine exactly the quantity of media needed and gravel underbidding quantity as well. Of course, here at Pure Rock, we've done our specific and precise calculations for our specific media sizes and tanks to make sure our design and flow rates are adequate for each tank size. Most importantly is of course the safety of the personnel involved in loading these media filters. Now we would leave that up to local, local code that predetermined what kind of safety equipment or protection is needed for the personnel such as gloves or masks. that will prevent of course inhaling any kind of fumes and so on when loading these uh, media filters. Before beginning the media loading it's important to double check and ensure that your riser pipe is cut to the right length and the diameter matches that on the, the valve used. With that, we will begin the media installation. So step one of the media installation would be to ensure that your riser pipe is centered up in the inside of the tank. And of course, the center of the pipe is covered with some kind of easy to remove plastic cap. It doesn't hurt to take some kind of flashlight and just double check that the, the actual riser pipe is centered up because once the media is loaded, of course, it'll be very difficult to realign the riser pipe. So of course, before pouring any gravel or media into the tank, you'd want to place the funnel on the top of the tank so you ensure all the media easily goes into the tank. Step two would be loading the gra fine gravel into the media tank. Um, before doing that, of course, you would recommend transferring a small amount of gravel into the bucket that we showed earlier in the video. As these tanks are slightly small, of course, on larger tanks, uh, the gravel can be poured directly into the tank, but again, since we're using less than a bag, we'd want to transfer a little bit into a bucket and then transfer that into the tank. So then of course, as you're pouring the gravel into the tank, you're going to want to maybe move it around so it goes in a little bit easier as it tends to get stuck because the tank opening is a little bit small with a larger uh, riser pipe. After loading your first amount of fine gravel into this tank, you'd want to double check and take, the, take a flashlight and make sure that the gravel level is slightly above the screen on the bottom. If it's not, of course, you're going to load more gravel. You know, as mentioned before, we have a predetermined uh, gravel amounts already calculated, but if your gravel amounts are not calculated, you know, these steps are necessary. So once you've determined that enough gravel has been loaded, and of course that's been double checked visually, uh, it's now safe to proceed to our third step, which would be the loading of the filtration media. Now, as mentioned before, we have predetermined media volumes or quantities that, will, that get preloaded in each diameter tank. With that even being said, it is still important to measure and ensure that you have enough freeboard and document that at the very end, which we'll show how to do. Um, so with that, we will load two bags of activated carbon media in this video. As you're loading the carbon media into the tank here, you want to pour it at the right speed so you're not overspilling and just ensuring that the carbon goes into the tank as fast as it's coming out of the bag. Once the correct amount of media has been loaded into the tank, of course, you would remove your funnel, take off your, your cap here on the riser pipe, and clean up any really dust and small media finds around the thread before loading your valve. Now, once your media has been loaded inside the tank, um, it's of course, and you're 
top cleaned. You can follow our other Pure Aqua videos on how to install your uh, control valves onto the top of the tank and program and so on. Um, but before doing that, of course, you'd want to measure how much freeboard is actually in this tank, properly document that for maintenance purposes. Um, as this uh, freeboard volume or height is important as it determines if there's a media loss and so on. Now, you know, some operators might ask, how often do we replace our carbon media? Of course, as, as mentioned earlier in our video, carbon media removes uh, many different types of parameters, be it inorganic or organic compounds. Now, for the particular compound you're trying to remove, it's important to measure your concentration before and after the filter and monitor that over maybe a course of six to 12 months. Typically, we see carbon media lasting between six to 12 months. And of course, based on your exact operating conditions, you can determine exactly how often this media needs to be replaced. Now, for the purchase of any high quality quality NSF certified activated carbon media, of course our sales team can be contacted at any time, be it if, to buy carbon media replacement or brand new tanks for new projects. With that, that concludes our Pure tutorial video and we thank you for watching.